Chit, chit, chin it down. Okay, guys, what's up? It's Dave Player 90 here. Back for the NR2003 Shopper Series. The 2005 season is reaching a big point as we're about to reach halfway into the season at the new banked Chicagoland Speedway. Now, this track is like is Chicagoland, of course. It's a very good track because the pack racing stays tight. So, just like the preseason 25 was on regular Chicagoland, this is going to be more chaotic. So, Hope you guys enjoy that. Now, this race is always known, this specific race, Tropicana 400, is always known for one thing, and that's contracts. A bunch of drivers entered this season um, in their contract year, and at the end of this video, if your driver has, if your driver does, is in their contract year and you have not renewed your contract, you now these are guys like uh, Adam Beverly, Harry Oddball, Jeffrey Chev, um... Harris Wales, Jimmy Reed, a couple more. I can't think of all of them at the top of my head. If you do not say that you're going to re renew your contract at the end of this video, or at least comment on the video, um, you will become that driver will become a free agent at the end of the season. Um, and of course, at the end of the season, I'll explain who will renew their contracts and who isn't in the Discord server. If you are not on the Discord server uh, and you would wish to be in, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll send you the link. Um, if not, you'll just have to wait uh, for the following race, race 19 at New Hampshire, and then I'll tell you the contract stuff there, but that will just take a longer time. Anyway, 54 laps here, but before we do that, Eric Drew has a lead by 135, but nothing is safe at this track because you can die immediately. So here are the points. Heading into the halfway point of the season. Okay, we go to look at the entry list. See who makes it in. Oh man, Dave Blaney. To your cars. Dave Blaney's back, baby. Dave Blaney's back. Wow. Okay. Now that's a sight to behold. No one else. Uh, that makes all the races as a DNQ, at least not from what I'm looking at, except maybe Jarvis Peel, but he's had trouble making races all year. Um, don't really see anyone. Oh, Rob Rody is the one I was thinking. Of. Rob Rody DNQs the Tropicana 400. That's gonna be huge. Anyway. The poll is gonna go to Lolo's Art over Aaron Abel. Okay. Chris fifth, Eric drew eighth, and last place goes to Dave Blaney. The non signups make a return, bro. With Dave Blaney. All right, so here we go for the Tropicana 400. And remember, this track has a lot of pack racing. Unfortunately, it has blurry cars, but you just have to deal with that. Um. Very good pack racing. Reminds me of the new Atlanta in Cup Series right now. Anyway, green flag is out for Lolo Zart, who's going to get a nice jump to take the lead on the opening lap. Now let's see if he can stay there. And how long will they survive before they inevitably die? We got eight now. Number eight leading the race. Number 88 second, followed by number 18 now taking third. Pep Drew getting a huge push by Christopher Abel. Abel wants to rebound after how bad his season has been so far. He leads this series with 11 DNFs, and most of them not due to his fault. And he sits 29th in points as a defending series champion. As he takes the lead, Pep Drew led the opening lap. As you can see, they're still super close together. And we all remember what happened last time we came to Chicagoland at all. Oh, Chev going to make it three wide on Wales. He's going to lead that lap. Adam Beverly and Rutherford right behind him. Three wide toward the back. Eric Drew trying to make up spots. Rutherford has taken the lead from Beverly. But here comes Kelvin Bronze with a push from Dario Sanchez. Ooh, almost made some contact. Bronze going to lead the lap. Jet meme looking 
for another win. He's going to push Sanchez now to the lead. Oh, three wide, super close along the track. Sanchez going to the lead, but here comes Meme. Oh, going to get forced up by Reese Brown. Oh, Grogu and Lenny Carson almost getting into it. Oh, into Asher Byron. Beverly. Oh, that was close, man. This is nail biting. Lanny Carson coming off after being the first female to win in ShopRite Series history at Daytona. Being extremely aggressive early on as we're only lap 5. I mean, I can't say aggressive. JoJo is taking the lead, but here comes Eric Drew to the bottom. Oh, Lolozar made a very risky move there. It's going to be Eric Drew leading that 5 bonus points. Uh-oh, rip. But Jemmy looking to steal it right back. With the push from the 2 of Fred. Oh, Three wide for the lead and pretty much everywhere behind them. Surprisingly, they have not wrecked. Mike Smith, the only one that's really fallen out of the pack in that 0-1 car, but very dangerous. They're in the midsection, four wide, and there goes Xena. Elliot Monroe and around they go. Huge hit, Lenny Carson upside down. At least on her side, the caution has come out. And there's the inevitable wreck. It looks like Jim Sales flipped over. Rutherford with heavy damage. Yeah, big wreck. Mostly in the drivers in the back, though. Oh, and they're still wrecking on the way to the caution. Jet Meme was involved in a wreck along with Christopher Abel. Oh, no, dude. You guys are wrecking on the way to the line. What the living heck, bro? What are y'all doing? All right, let's see what happened to Zhang Zena here. Yep, they just got squished. Him, the 38 and 43. And yep, around they all went huge hit. And the 25 flips over how? Gets hit by James Carson, tumbles down the front stretch. Or the trial, well, excuse me. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But what the heck happened on the other side of the track? How did these guys get into their own? Oh, Jeffrey Chep forces his teammate into a four wide and that causes a whole little thing oh no jojo gets into eric drew and around they went that was strange those two shouldn't have a lot of damage yeah they're gonna keep going at least that's what i think right where's the 18 yeah he's gonna try to keep going at least so if you continue it's not likely that you're going to die considering how ridiculous this track is not ridiculous in a bad way, but just very competitive. It looks like Jerry Smith won back at the line, so he's going to get bonus points to try to catch Eric Drew, who actually doesn't have damage at all, by the way. Yeah, there goes Chris. Meme looks like he has a heavy amount of damage, so I don't know if he's going to get back going. Yeah, where's the 97? There he is. Okay, let's go find Jerry. Okay, going green on lap number 12. Now, look at all the cars dead from the race. 29 left, though, so definitely way less than I way more than I was expecting to stay out. Anyway, fast lap so far has been Jimmy Reed in that 48, but green flag's gonna come out for Jerry Smith. With his teammate Fred right behind him in second, but Jimmy Reed got the best start of them all. He's going to make it three wide for the lead. In his contract year. Now remember, I'm uploading this video way after I actually recorded it to give people chances for their contracts. So, I'm recording this on September 3rd. This is probably going to be out on, what, the 6th or 7th? So, yeah, definitely when school starts for most people out. Because where I am, September is the beginning of the school year. I haven't started yet. I start like two, three days. Anyway, Lolos are going to make it three wide back for lead with Pep Drew. Those guys who led in the beginning now looking to lead again. But Gavin Grogu's entering the chat room. But four wide is not the greatest thing. And there they go. Huge spin. Jeb, Kelvin Bronze, Jerry Smith damage. Adam Beverly as the caution comes out again. Please don't wreck on the way to the line, guys. 
Okay, time for the, the pace car going a million miles an hour. <laughs> Yeah, Noel's so off the pace. Yeah, where's the 5? Or actually, the 15, really. Kelvin coming off his second top 10 of the season at Daytona. Yeah, that squeeze wasn't really going to work. Reed was able to get out there with a minimal amount of damage, but still. I think that was Ricardo Vega who nearly just smoked the 15. Let's check out the point of view from the from the 86 of Landon Weeks here. So not a lot of cars involved in that wreck, fortunately. The only one that was able to make it out there pretty much with the least amount of damage was Jimmy Reed, but still... Damage isn't the greatest thing. I don't think anyone's going to be out from that wreck because that wreck wasn't that bad. But Art's going to get a bunch of laps led under caution. Jetmean and Jerry Smith out of the race. Oh, rip the points. Rip the points. They're going to get 28th and 29th while Eric Drew continues to run just outside the top 10. So rip the standings. Green flag comes out on lap 18. Art leading. The Snickers boys second, third. Landon Weeks looks like some guy's pit for strategy because Weeks is fourth, Ricardo Vega in fifth. So I guess some strategy came into play and I didn't even notice. Yeah, there's Reed way off the pace unless he pit right before the line. Dave Bellaney's going to get a top 10. Um, Yeah, Vega looking off the pace. Fred led that lap, but Art wants to get it right back. Grogu and, and Eric Drew trying to pounce on this opportunity of cars on the outside. Is there three wide for third? Side by side for the lead. Here comes Eric Drew, though. No! Made some contact there, the 86 and the 7. And it looks like Aaron Abel coming into pit road. Drew closing in on the 8, but he's got Tom Sloan behind him in the 4. The 4 are going to probably stay on his inside. Yeah, here comes the four. To the lead, he's gonna go. Aaron Abel's coming off pit road, so that could be an issue. See that 14 up ahead? That's probably gonna be a problem. Oh yeah, it is. JoJo's gonna take the lead now, but here comes that lap car of Aaron Abel. 30 miles an hour slower than them. They're starting to separate though. Sloan way up high. Could be the better I the better move for this lap car. But that 14's on pace, so he could definitely be a problem. Everyone behind Aiden Johnson in that 11 car is way off the pace of the top 11. Battling right now on lap 22 with 54. And they've caught the 14, but looks like the 10 of, it, of JoJo's going to go to the bottom. With ease. Yeah, look at everyone else separated because the majority of them have damage in some form or another. Leading another lap is the 10 of JoJo, but the 20 of Gavin Grove are going to take the lead now, but Art is staying right there with them. Art going to take back the lead. Ricardo Vega probably has the most damage in this group, and he's still staying here. He's got a destroyed bumper. I don't know what the 7 is doing. That was a way too high. Yeah, Aiden's barely staying in this pack. He's probably not even going to be here for that much longer. Art continuing the lead. He's probably led the most laps so far. But here comes Fred right behind him. Tom Sloan once again getting a push from Aaron Abel. Oh, Eric Drew getting into JoJo and around goes to 10. 360 and saves it, but is he going to survive? What a save by the 10 of JoJo. But will he survive? Gets split by like six cars. And he continues to drive. What a save by JoJo to continue his race. Probably not for the win, but what a save. Nonetheless, Jimmy Reed holding up the field, and Drew's going to get turned himself. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. And now it's separated the pack even more. Eric Drew. 
almost just got his life taken away. Goodness me. And now Aaron Abel's battling for his lap back as the top four battle for the win. Or the lead, I should say, right now. I'll take a look at that 10 car save in a, later, but dang, that was crazy. Now the 48, who's way off pace, could cause an issue here. Yeah, he's very off pace. As Fred continues to lead now. Sloan trying to get back to second for the millionth time. Look at Eric Drew closing in like crazy. Pep Drew in this pack now. He wasn't there before, but I guess those slow cars and crazy mayhem caused him to catch back up to the group. And here he is once again. Anderson way high there. Fred continuing to try to hold the lead. Sloan catching him, and so is the night. Uh, so is the the Drews, bro. The two Drews. The 48 has been dealt with. But yep, looks like JoJo's made his way all the way back up to 12. That they're nearly dying. Gosh, that's still crazy and fresh in my mind. Looks like Eric Drew gonna try to take the lead back from Fred, and he's gonna take it. But the lap car of Aaron Abel's gonna mess with him, and he's gonna go to the bottom. Try to battle for his lap, a lap back. Oh no, he's only one lap down, so he's battling for the lead lap. The Gavin Grogu gonna take the lead in that 20 car. Top eight in this group with the lap car. As ninth place, Ricardo Vegas struggling behind. Art's gonna take the lead again. Pep Drew gonna try to pass him. Here comes Sloan looking to make it three wide. He's going to do it. Three wide for the lead. Will they survive? Art almost got turned by the 20 there. Sloan's going to lead that lap for the bonus points. Finally, he leads a lap. He was in second so many times, but he could just never get the lead. Yeah, ninth place, Ricardo Vega, and that 23 is just existing right now. <laughs> but anything could happen in the group at this track. You can get turned, wrecked. Anything could happen. I mean, look at Drew and JoJo. Both of them almost died as Eric Drew holding the lead at Chicagoland Speedway. He's won at this track before when it didn't have banking. He got his fourth win of his career here in 2003. And he's looking to win this race again. No driver has won a race twice, but not in consecutive years. Well, obviously they can't because... Last year would have been made a consecutive, but you know the point I'm trying to make. He'll be the f he would be the first driver to win a race twice, but not consecutively. In the 17 races before, nobody from the from the winner in 2003 has won in 2005 in that same event. So, look how big this pack got. This pack is more susceptible to wrecking. And look at that, JoJo has made his way back up into the top 10. I think Landon's pitting. He almost got dumped by the 21 there, and that is indeed what he is doing. And there goes Byron. Valent Byron into Josh Turner. That should be the caution because the 42 could get nailed here. Yes, and the caution is out again. Pit problems, and the 48 existing is going to scramble up the lead. We're never going to have green flag pit stops, but it doesn't matter. Eric Drew wins back at the caution as... They had to slow down for the 86 pitting, and Flint Byron just got squeezed on the top lane and turns the 42 of Josh Turner. Let's check that out. Watch the 86 here. Almost gets completely dumped by the the 21 of uh, Sergi Thompson right there, yeah. And as he's doing that, Josh Turner and this th three have to slow down. Look, Flint, yeah, that was just a pinch there, yeah. That was uncalled for. Now let's check out Flint Byron's point of view from that. Yeah, look at that. He was trying to follow Aiden up there, and then yeah, just pinched, and that did not work out the right way. Good save by the 78 after he spun, but he's probably going to be out of the race. That looks like too much damage. And 
course, the caution probably came out because the 12 was there. Now, it looks like they did pit. I missed the cycle, but it does not matter to me. So there's the two lappers, and there's Landon. So Eric probably won out, followed by Sloan, and I think that's Beverly, yeah. Anyway, where is my man here in freaking JoJo? Alright, here's the lap. Lap 24. JoJo and Eric Drew with some beef. As the 97 completely gets into the 10 here. Spins, saves the car, and prevents himself from getting massacred and gets split by like th tw two cars by Thompson and Cameron Regal and even Dave Blaney there. And then was able to get back on pace as Eric Drew himself got into some crazy beef with Ricardo Vega right there and nearly gets dumped. But he did not get spun out. And was able to continue to stay alive. Looks like Calvin Bronze, who had damage, I guess he's just gonna retire and just say it's too much to deal with. Flynn Byron, yes, he is done. I thought so. Okay, as they're coming to the green flag, Landon Weeks is on the tail end of the lead lap while the 14 and 48 are both two laps down. Green flag comes out on lap 39. Reed off pace. <laughs> Space for Drew on the bottom. Oh my gosh, there's 48 is so slow. Freaking Dave Blaney's in eighth place. Oh, Aaron Abel holding up the 97, and here comes Tom Sloan to the bottom. Adam Beverly right there with them as well. Was involved in a wreck earlier, but he's going to move his way up to second. The 48 and the 12 are separating everybody, and Thompson, I guess, pit or uh, pit again. That's why he's so off pace. But Sloan running away with the lead, with just a handful of laps to go. But this race isn't over yet. When it comes to wreck, Dave Blaney could very well win this race, and they're about to go four wide again. Here we go. Will they survive? Oh, teammates, the 14 and the three. Barely survived there. That could have been a nasty wreck if the 14 hooked the oddball in the three. Sloan led again, but Eric Drew coming back hot, trying to reclaim his lead. Have Drew in second. Oh, what a block by the fours, trying. Eric Drew reclaims the lead, but he hasn't. He didn't lead that lap. The four now going to get shuffled back tremendously and get passed by like six cars and a lap car. <laughs> As Gavin Grogu takes the lead on the backstretch. And it looks like Ricardo Vega coming into pit road. No, that's not Ricardo Vega. That's Adam Beverly in the one. So maybe some strategy came into play on that pit cycle I didn't see. As the one comes into pit road from, I believe, like the eighth or ninth position. Grogu leads, but here comes Sloan sending into a four wide. And they're a huge wreck. Oddball drive, Drew. Both Drews, Dave Blaney, and there's some more. Reese Brown. My goodness, this has got to be the most chaotic race in the season. The top five wrecking. Anderson still shaking up as he slowed. Grogu and Sloan have won back. Drew's in third, but he is visibly shaken up from that. It looks like Aaron Abel will get one of his laps back. But there will be under 10 laps to go for this restart. But golly, man. That was crazy. Let's check out what happened there. You just look at the four, just sends it to the bottom of the 99 to make it four wide. And Drive just slid up into the three car. And then, yeah, gets hooked. He hooked the 99 and around they all went. Check out Dave Blaney here in the, in the 07 car. Right there, boom, gets hooked. The, the 99 got hooked by the three.
Christopher Abel like, made it out of that too. Lolo's art with some damage, and he had a very strong car. But it looks like you know strategy is going to come into play because it's going to be just a few laps to go. Yeah, just watch the 99 and 3 right here. Just get the hook right there. Just one more on board. Let's check out the number 40 car of Cameron Regal, who is running in the 10th position and saw this firsthand. Wow, third place wrecking in that. So no one is safe when you're in a pack of at least five cars. Nobody is safe. You could all wreck out at any given point. Pretty much everyone has some sort of damage. And Thompson was able to get back on that because of that wreck, and he pit before, and he's going to be where? Where's the 21 at? Is he dead? Is the 21 dead? I think he might be dead. Oh yeah, Thompson is indeed dead. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, he must have gotten involved in the wreck. Let's see. Did Thompson die? He was by himself. Here's the caution. Did he hit somebody under caution? He had to. What the heck happened? Oh, what the? What the heck is this wreck? Hold on. The oh, is a bad wreck under caution. Oh my, Adam! Adam, what the living heck are you doing? Learn to drive, my man. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's how Thompson got involved in that. What the heck, Beverly? Learn how to drive, dude. They're going green this time by, and that's why so many other cars died. Chris, Dad, Reese. We're gonna have only 16 cars left, and... Landon Weeks is a lap down, but he's in that where fourth place should be. Only the top three without any visible damage. And JoJo. JoJo could come back from this. Anyways, they're going to come back to Green Flag Racing on lap 48 of 54. Just a few laps to go. Green Flag is out for Gavin Grogu. Sloan is doing the high groove. Interesting. The 12 already separating a bunch of cars back there. Too bad for them, I mean, whatever. <laughs> did Ad wait, did yeah, Aaron Abel did get his lap back so from that, so that's good for him, but he's gonna get held up by the 12 and he's probably not gonna come get really any spots. There's gonna be three wide, here comes JoJo, we could see some B fail here. Could see some payback. A little swipe there by the 10. From getting spun out by Eric earlier, could definitely see some retaliation at some point. And Weeks here to play, spoiler. In that 86 car. <laughs> oh, I thought the four was about to get turned there. Oh, what the? Okay. And JoJo, coming back from a spin, is now going to battle for the win as lap 50 begins, and he's right on the leader's back bumper. And he's going to go for it. Anderson taking third place from Fred. And now the leaders are side by side. Single file for a pretty good portion. Uh, <laughs> oh, Grogu's sending it way down. Almost got dumped by the seven there. Oh, wait, here's Aaron Abel. Where did you come from? Oh my gosh, those guys came back after being completely decimated by the freaking 12. And did the 88 wreck? I think the 88 wrecked. No? Okay, I'm assuming he didn't. He just pit some more time ago. So they came back after being separated from the 12. Good for them. And now they can battle for the win. The Snickers boys won two with three laps to go. Can JoJo perform the miracle after coming back from being spun out? He's going to get passed by Fred, though. Fred looking for his second win of the season. His first came at Texas. Oh, JoJo almost got spun again by Grogu. Air Drew trying to come back from this, though. Oh, anyone can win this. It's all about timing.
Yeah, Weeks definitely playing spoilers. There's just three, la two laps to go. Fred holding the lead with Grogu in sight. Ain't. Yeah. Grogu side by side for the lead. Three wide for third. But could they catch the 20 who's going to take the lead as they come to the white flag? White flag is out. One lap to go at Chicagoland. Gavin Grogu holding the lead, looking for his fourth win of 2005, but he's got a bunch of cars chasing him in hot pursuit. Fred looking for it, Art right behind him. Coming into turns three and four. Aaron Abel trying to send it in, here comes Fred on the bottom. A lap car in sight, but it's not going to be enough. It's going to be Gavin Grogu winning as they come to the line. Fourth win of 2005 Fred coming in a distant second as Aaron Abel gets a third place finish with a lap car right there with them there it is man take that erase this from the picture right here but that's that's pretty good I wonder if that's the closest finish in series history. Six hundreds. But Gavin Grogu getting his fourth win of the season. Wow. It's going to come at Chicagoland with its new Brent banking. Let's check out the results. He did lead the most laps at 12. We had 25 lead changes. 13 drivers, it's apparently zero degrees, so that must be a glitch. Four cautions. Eric led nine, seven for Art, six for Fred, five for Tom, four for JoJo, four for Smith, two for Pep, and a bunch of others. A few others had one. Good thing for Meme, though, he got those five bonuses. Fred coming from 29th to finish second. Aaron Abel qualified second and finished third. Another lap, he probably would have gone. Actually, no, the 88 was going to hold him up. Anderson from 32nd. Tom Sloan top five after finishing sixth last race after starting 26th. Art from the pole finished the sixth. JoJo did an amazing, had, uh, showed an amazing effort to win this race after being spun out. He finishes seventh. Vega third, eighth. Rutherford finishes ninth. Aiden Johnson gets another top 10 in his career. He finishes 10th. Eric gets 11th. A few other guys, the remaining 16 drivers that survived. Landon Weeks finished a lap down in 16th. And here's everyone else that died. As you can see. Great race. Very, very good race. Let's see, let's, let's see the points. Eric Drew has a 186-point lead over Gavin Grogu who just got his fourth win of the season. Wow. Jet Meme sits third, 189 back. Smith in fourth. Fred moves up to fifth. Art, sixth. Anderson jumps to seventh. Rutherford jumps to ninth. Abel, tenth. Noel's eighth. A Aaron Abel, tenth in points. As Wales and Xena fell out. Tom Sloan jumps to 18th in points. His teammate's 19th and his other teammate's 14th. There's Rob Brody who DNQ'd this race down to 21st. It's a few other people. Aiden Johnson, he has another top five somewhere. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> well, he has two top sends this season. He's 30th in points. JoJo, who has two top fives and five top tens, he's up to 36th. So, yeah, very fun race. That was fun, dude. That was awesome. I hope you guys liked that video. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And remember, contracts exist. You better have re renewed them.